Good morning. So um, today, continuing with Simple Pixie Next, uh, working on the daemon um, and client, uh, creating a dbus um, interface for the two. Um, so yesterday we, um, we got the basics up and running for a nice clean uh, daemon. Um, so the main function uh, listens to interrupts and so on, um, but otherwise just hands off to a run command uh, function, uh, which does the basics of um, setting up a dbus connection and then just basically waiting for things to finish up. Um, so it just sits there forever. Um, and we also have a little um, config um, set up as well. Uh, which is probably not going to be used much, but at least it's there for, in case we decide to do that kind of thing. Um, and it's useful for testing as well. And then on the dbus side of things, we've just basically, we've got a very basic um, example um, sitting there that I'm going to fix up today, um, or at least start fixing up. Um, and then on the client, um, it just calls um, the ping function on our little dbus um, example. So today, um, my priority, I think, is to kind of get to grips with the dbus setup. Um, sort of get some idea of how we're going to use this um, to then um, expose some functions that the client can use. This example uses um, an interesting setup where it um, has a a ping type, which is actually a string. Because um, you have to, on this export here, you have to give it something um, as an interface, which has a function on it. So what I think I'll do is try and I think first up I think I just need to make this more in keeping with how my mind works so I think well we're not going to have like a it's not a ping service. Um, it's going to be, let's think, what type is it? Is it going to be, is it going to be a manager of snippets? It's also going to manage settings and things like that too. So it's a little bit more generic. Let's call it um, let's call it a service. Um, oh, before I do that, I should just make sure that it's all up and running and that we that we've tested that it works. Um, so I think I'll, I do it? I'll do it in here. Let's do this. Okay. So we've got a little daemon running now on the terminal down the bottom. And if I go to the client, um, it should be able to just run. It just runs, does a ping and should get back something. What we're expecting back is Pong. So I'll just quickly run that. And that's it, it worked. We've got Pong back on this new client setup there. Okay. So that's fine, it's working. So we've got something that we want to now change. So let's do 
just call it a surface, shall we? Um, and I want it to just be a structure because potentially um, potentially we'll add stuff to it that might be useful in the functions such as the config which then passes stuff down yeah okay so we now have so we're going to have a ping function on it uh, we'll call this s um, and it is a service When it, did you? Oh, I didn't see that. Ah. Uh, I don't need to do print there. And all we really need to do is return. So, yeah, so if we basically treat service kind of like an interface, we have a ping function, and all it does is return pong. I think that makes sense to me. Um, yeah. And then I think that means in here, all we need to do is pass the address of service. Oops. Type it right. So that's a new service. I think that's okay. And handle down. I'll have to deal with that in a second. But it's not changed too many things. Okay. So I have a service structure, it has a ping function, it just returns pong and uh, error potentially. All these things have to return um, some sort of error as, as the last parameter apparently. So, okay, well, let's give that a go. So we'll run that now. Okay, so it's up and running. And now I don't need to make any changes here. I'm just calling the ping command without any flags or any other arguments. And storing the result in this string. Um, and then for internet, yeah, so that should be fine. Pong. And we've got the lowercase pong that I just wrote. That's good. Okay. Let's um Let's get rid of that yellow for starters. Okay. 
Yeah, it's just a standard error. That's fine. Um, and presumably that's just because we're not unused. Yeah, because we're not using the config yet. Um, Probably should. Let's do that then. Let's do. Um, Is that allowed? <laughs> I guess that has to be a pointer, really. Let's, um, I think we should probably make that a proper service then. Service equals service with config C. Okay, and then we'll just pass it in the service here. Yeah, it doesn't like the shadow, does it? Uh, let's rename it then. Let's just do that. And we'll do the same here. Just that we've got cleanliness, okay. So nothing's really changed there. All we're doing is passing the config into the service structure. We're not using it, but at least we've got it. Okay, let's see if that works. Uh, what is the shortcut? Control Shift F10. Shift F10. Okay, that's working. Uh, so I should be able to do the same here. Control Shift F10. Boom. Cool. Yes. Now, if I do that, will it do it always? Yes, terminate. Okay, um, that's good. All right, so let's make sure that's clean. Right, well, I'm going to commit that for starters. Uh, this will use a service struct for dbus interface. I'll do that. Uh, we should probably st type struct correctly. OK, 
Okay. Spot. All right, so we've now got the makings of a service. Um, now, one thing I do want to check, because I'm, I'm new to all this debus stuff, so I want to check a few things before we pile in. Um, passing parameters. So what would be nice is if, let's test, if we pass in, um, oh, should that not be a pointer? Guess not. What happens if I make it so? Because I don't really want to be throwing these things around. Let's see what happens there. Does that complain? No. Ah, okay. That did. Interesting. So why is that different then? Oh, of course. Dunk. So let's see whether that does it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ooh. Okay. Needed to make sure that um We're passing in the right thing there. Okay, uh, that's good. Right, we'll do that because um, that makes things a little bit, a little bit more efficient. Um, not that there's a lot of data and stuff in there, but once it starts getting a few services hanging off it, you don't really want to be throwing it around. I don't know. I doubt that that makes any difference in Go, but yeah. Let's make sure we do the right thing at first. So, okay, right, so back to the thing. I want to test uh, passing information in. So let's pass in um, an expected response. And uh, that will be some sort of string. And what we'll do um, is if the length of response is greater than zero, then we just return the response of nil. And then otherwise, we return the default of pong. So that should now, that will cause an error on the client. So if I bring that up now, the client 
isn't passing in any parameters yet. The ping is just this um has taken uh, a flag which we've got zero flags and then potentially any kind of arguments uh, of which we've got none at the moment. So if I run that just now, it should error because we're now expecting at least one, one argument. Yeah, failed to call ping function. Invalid type number of args. Great. That's what I want to hear or we'll see. So let's do that. Let's just change the client. Uh, we'll pass Ripple. Because why not? And then we'll run that. And we get back Ripple. Cool. Okay. And then if we don't pass anything, so we just pass in an empty string, we get Pong. Good. Okay. That's what we expected. Good stuff. Um, Okay, let's commit that just before we move on, because that's a working example. Uh, now ping to apply with Turn it response. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, we're kind of lacking on documentation bits and bobs here in all these things because I've thrown it together so far. Uh, let's quickly amend some of that. So main, we don't need to document that. Init config based on command line logs and that has kind of enough. Okay. And then run. Starts. Dbus service with given config. That will do. That should really be sets up config based on yeah I'm avoiding initializes there because you could see in it initializes config which is a little bit kind of redundant it's one of the weird things about the godoc format is that it expects that the, uh, the very first word in a functions uh, comment uh, dot comment 
is the function name, so you end up kind of repeating it quite often. So that's that. That's main. What about dbus? New dbus con tens start say. That's the dbus service with given config. Ping goes pong unless Another response given. How do we? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's start doing. Um, have I got time? I've got time. Um, we probably should oh, there's nothing on the client yet yeah the client is sorely lacking at the moment um very much uh, need some work there Okay. We also need some testing as well. So, what should we do? Okay. Before we start making changes. Let's do some basic setup here. We will want to do some flag setup. We'll want to do a bunch of the stuff that we want to do from here as well. We could copy a bunch of this. I mean, also, we're not going to do any of the for loops and stuff. Certainly not these ones. But. But we certainly do this 
because if we have a long run in CLI command, you can imagine someone hitting control C or killing it off one other way or another. So it would be handy to do all the proper stuff there. Then do a run. Yeah, okay. Let's um Yeah, let's like let's make a few quick fix ups to the client to get it to something that we can use. Yes, I've got uh... Okay. Right, first things first. Uh, let's move this debug stuff out like we did here. So that's separate. Yeah. Okay. So new go file. Dbus. Yep. Um, and then we will think I think what we'll do okay I'll just take this at the moment. And we'll have a run. What should we have call? Yeah. Cool. D bus. Um, which at the moment is just the same, <laughs> but it's going to change. We'll have punk. New DBus con. In fact, yeah.
Yeah. We'll use the same name there. And then or do we want to do that? No, we don't. I'm just wondering whether all these client calls are going to be multi probably not yeah no they might actually we might have various CLI commands that have to do multiple calls to the dbus service so yeah um That's right, we're going to be returning the object. So... What we want here... Is that not having ever? That's interesting. Okay, let's do this then. Um, what we'll do is we'll just rearrange things slightly here. We will do that. Put that there. We will return the object so we're actually going to be returning a bus object We don't have an error. So it's a dbus dot. Oh, oh, what did I do there? Okay. We're returning a pointer to a dbus bus object. So we're going to do a connection. We're definitely not going to defer close. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Do need to close it at some point. Presumably, Yeah. 
Right, there's no like way to get through to the connection there and close it. Okay, so we do need so new D bus. Call it object and we'll return the connection as well. Yeah. If it all goes terribly wrong, horribly wrong, horribly. So Yeah, if we get an error, right in the daemon, yeah, we just return straight up error. Could just do that. Got nothing there. Otherwise, we should be able to return. Connection object nil error. Why is that complaining? Oh, I guess today. It's interesting. Yeah, of course. So do I actually get back an object rather than a... Oh, okay. Do I want to return it by value? I guess. Oh, we're not using the config at the moment, so let's take that out. Okay, it's a little bit hard coded at the moment, but we can change that later. So in theory, we are returning a connection bus and object, and then 
we want so here we're going to have like a Gonna have various things actually. This is kind of gonna be our interface, so it could actually be. Ping. And we're going to call that on object, uh, which is a D bus bus object. Going to potentially return an error. And why is that a problem? No, it's okay. Interface type. Oh. Yeah, that's different, isn't it? Not sure what to do with that. I can do um, See if that understands that. Is it I'm passed in the pointer to a 
D bus object is not as that. And then that's the one that's doing that. We're getting back. Again, back an object. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused there as to why it's complaining. So if that's coming back as an object, why can't I pass it back as a pointer? Yes, if I pass the address for it back, but then it's all going to be nuts there. So if I pass it back by value, I should, in theory, be able to pass it in by value. But I guess that's not going to be good for passing it in as a Receiver. Run out of time again as well. Okay, let's park this for the moment. I'll have to come back to this. Um, no, I can't wait. Really let's do. To do work out how to handle
dbus dot bus object pretend from new dbus object because I obviously have a bit of a gap in my knowledge there as to how how it can be moved around maybe it can't or maybe I need to convert it into something more concrete. Don't know. Need to look into that. Because that's a bit of a showstopper because I want to have Just the one object that I just call call functions on. So I mean, for example, what I should have here um, is response string. Then that should be passed in here. And then so does that return? Oh, it's not telling me now. And then I could return, in theory, a string and or error. Don't want to do any of that there. Just want to return nil an error, or rather, because you can't have nil string. And then here. We just return uh, s nil, and that's all I want to do. I want to have a ping object, sorry, function on the bus object, which is basically a proxy to do the call, get the result, store it in string. If there's an error return it, otherwise return the string. And then in main, I want to do I want to do Basically, all of that. Wow. A bunch of it. So, well, if we take it all.
And then in the client main, I actually want to do Context, blah, blah, blah. Where's the config? Don't actually want a path on it. Yeah. Nearly time for my stand up. I do need to finish off. So we do set up, set up, set up. Do the thing, do the thing. Config. New flags. Don't actually need any of that for the moment. Or that. Don't know if that will fail actually. Possibly, because I haven't said anything. Uh, run. Yeah, it will get a little bit complicated there because we will want the flags for, say, doing a doping or whatever. But otherwise, we'll be doing that, we'll be doing that. I'll be doing dbus com dbus object new dbus object Yeah. We're going to do the defer close. And just here for the dummy thing, we'll return right now if everything goes okay. Otherwise, we, in theory, will do dbar subject. dot yes yeah, so it's the problem it is a interface so I can't use it which is weird
Okay, I definitely need to look at that. Um, and then do whatever, which should be coming from flags that will we'll do a better passing on later. Okay, I need to quit now, but my theory is that this is where we'll we'll do this config in it slightly differently. Um, it might not even actually be a config thing. But either way, it's going to cause some sort of function. That is likely going to do deeper stuff. I wonder if I could do if I did this instead. Uh, it's not equal to nil. Return. Uh, otherwise, we'll just do a log. Um, yeah, print F. Um, ping went, oops, uh, response, right, I'm not even sure this is going to compile. So, Okay, uh, so the daemon has no changes, it should just run, and then this Give it a go. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Cool. Pen went boom. Okay. Right, so I've got to be careful about the object. It's definitely a by value thing. Um, so another quick test here then. Make sure that 
passes in again. Okay, so if we pass Wibble. Uh, did I? I killed off the demon, didn't I? Yeah, up and run in again. And main on the client. Run that. Ping went Wibble. <laughs> cool. Okay, right, I gotta go. Uh, so that's good. Um, I kind of have a basic structure there that I think I can work with. It needs a bit more fleshing out, but um, I should be able to move things enough that um, we can use the dbus functions uh, appropriately. So, yeah, cool. I uh, might need to make it a bit more of a package thing so I could just call it. But anyway, um, gotta go. Um, so until next time, uh, thanks for watching and you take care.